Welcome to Python 3 Beginner 8 Exceptions. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Exceptions is the concept of catching errors while the program is running and doing something about it so the user doesn't have to experience the program crashing or not working. Most often this happens when the user is inputting incorrect data into our variables or trying to open a file that does not exist. To avoid our program crashing and getting no feedback or not handling the issue, we will learn how to use the try statement. The syntax is as follows, try, do this stuff, except do this stuff if the try failed. Now let's create a little program and we'll call it toot8.py. We'll try to open a text file that doesn't exist called blah.txt. When it can't open the file, instead of crashing, we will catch the exception and print out the that the file could not be found. Okay, so we'll come over to Ubuntu. And vim toot8.py. Now we're going to do it, define our main, so def main. And inside our main, we're going to have a try statement. So try, and then indent. So inside of our try, we're going to f equals open. So we're going to try and open a file, and we're going to try and open blah.txt and comma, and we're going to try and open it up in read mode. And we'll close off our open function. Now, we're going to try and read the lines inside the file. So for line in F, we're going to print, open brackets, line dot strip, and we're going to strip backslash n, backslash r, close quotes, close brackets. Okay, now outside of our four, we're going to close our file, so f.close, and then back on inside of our main function, we're going to accept. So th we're going to do this if the try fails. So if an exception is found, we're going to print, and we're going to print the file was either not found or unable to be read. Close quotes and close brackets. Now we need, now that's our main function written. So let's write our if name. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to open quotes underscore oop, underscore underscore main underscore underscore close quotes colon. We're going to run main. Okay. So now if we try and run this, so we right quit and save and we go python 3 toot 8py we get the file was either not found or unable to be read so if we quickly create the blah file so vim blah the blah dot txt and we just put hello in there Oop. hello and then we save this and then we try and run our script again we get hello outputted which was what we put inside of our blah text file. So as you can see, this is much nicer. The user now knows that the file was either not found or unable, unable to be read. So they may have gotten the name wrong or something. Okay. So just like an if, the try except block can be put around anything. So let's uh, look at the optional keyword that we can add to our try except, which is finally. Finally is part of the try except and it comes last. What it does is makes a block of code execute after the try except whether it failed or not. This code will always execute. So let's edit our toot8.py and add a finally block which prints out exiting. Come over to this and we're going to go vim toot8.py. Okay. Now inside, we're go after our accept, because the finally block comes last, we're going to finally colon, and then inside our finally block, we're going to print the string exiting. And now we can right quit and save and we can try running it. So if we run it, we get hello and we get exiting because the finally always runs. 
Now if we remove, so if we remove the blah file, so rm blah dot txt, and then we try running our script again, we get the file is either not found or unable to be read, and we get exiting printed out again. So this code is always, always run. It's important to handle errors so that the end user doesn't have to see them crash your software. Plus, this isn't the only thing we can use try accepts for. This concludes our look at exceptions in Python. Don't fear if you don't remember all of this. You can easily come back, rewatch this video, and consolidate all of the information. If you have any questions you can find, and you can't find the answer after a quick Google search, feel free to leave them in the comments. Next, we'll be covering modules. Thanks for watching.